We ask NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey to find some Trump voters and ask them. Rad is live tonight for us. Rad, first of all, where did you go and what did you find? Well, Fred, we went to Union County that went solidly for Donald Trump back in November. And what we found was if you liked Donald Trump then, you still like him now. Vote him out! Vote him out! In Monroe, we found about 20 people protesting outside the office of Republican Congressman Robert Pittenger. They were upset with Pittenger's support of Donald Trump's efforts to replace Obamacare. But you don't have to go far in Monroe or other parts of Union County to find many more people who think Donald Trump is doing a good job. Well, I think that we should all just settle down and give him a chance. Much as Trump survived demeaning remarks he made about women and his call for a Muslim ban during the campaign, here in Union County, those who voted for Trump are still behind him. He can make a big difference to each and every individual, but he has to clean up a big mess that we, he has in front of him. Betty McKenzie told me she doesn't listen much to criticism of Trump that's escalated with the firing of former FBI Director James Comey and now the sharing of intelligence information with Russia. I don't put a lot of stock in that. I, I trust my God more than I trust them. And Circling back to Congressman Pittenger, who represents much of this area, in an interview from Washington taped by his office, Pittenger said the president has to be discreet when it comes to intelligence information. I trust that the president has been properly advised on the information that can be disclosed and that which really should not be. Now, granted, our trip down to Monroe in Union County was purely a random sample of people, but the one thing that stuck out, almost every single person said they would vote for Trump one more time if they could. Live in Charlotte, Red Berkey, NBC Charlotte. All right, absolutely no buyer's remorse there. Strong support. Thank you, Red. Well, we just checked, and right now, a teacher accused of sex crimes with a student out of jail. According to the Catawba County 